Welcome to Wednesday, waking up to a dry start, mild with mostly upper 60s and low 70s in Broward and Dade County, mid to upper 70s down to the Keys. It'll be our warmest day of the week. Highs in the upper 80s and the chance for a few showers this afternoon near record heat as the old record in Miami is 90 degrees. But then by tomorrow morning, waking up to the low 60s and the high 80 degrees, so not as warm. Friday, even nicer with the upper 70s. Saturday, showers and possible storms ahead of our second cold front. Sunday, cooler and breezy. Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Here's a look at some of your Wednesday morning headlines. President Biden says that by the end of May, the U.S. will have enough vaccine doses for every adult in the country. That effort expands in South Florida today with a new federal site at Miami-Dade College's North Campus. It will be among the first in the country with a single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine. It will open at 7 to people 65 and older. Firefighters, police officers, teachers, and school employees 50 and older are also eligible. And also at 7, Publix opened another round of appointments. Their website lists availability in Miami-Dade, Broward, and Monroe counties. South Florida's two largest hospital systems are now offering appointments to younger people with underlying conditions. At Jackson Health, it's 50 and above. At Broward Health, it's 18 and above. More than 1.7 million Floridians have now been fully vaccinated. Developing overnight water woes in a Miami neighborhood. A car crashed and ruptured a fire hydrant, sending water shooting into the air. This happened near Southwest 32nd Avenue and 27th Street. The water soaked the front of several homes in the neighborhood and made it inside at least one. A man who lives there says it was flowing for more than an hour. No word if anyone was hurt. Miami police say someone may have helped an inmate escape from Jackson Memorial Hospital. Nescale Richards got away from officers Monday night and has not been seen since. He's a man involved in this rough arrest in Liberty City that went viral. Richards was being treated for injuries when he somehow removed a GPS ankle monitor and got away. He was wanted for violating his probation. Officers say he is dangerous and has a long criminal past. And that's a look at some of your Wednesday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.
is CBS 4 News This Morning. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll go and, uh, you know, I'll stay there for a little while, watch it, and then, you know what I mean, and I'll leave, and then I'll go back and pick them up. That sounds good. Okay. Uh-huh. I love it. Okay. Taking one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is CBS 4 News This Morning. Good morning at 726. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Let's go to Chris Barr with a look at traffic. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Maribel. Good morning, South Florida. We're back in Miami-Dade, and despite a few incidents on the road this morning, the Palmetto is still moving well from the big curve to the Don Shula. On the northbound side, a disabled tractor trailer is still blocking the on-ramp right lane on the ramp from Flagler Street. Minor slowdowns on the entrance ramp are not affecting the main line at this time. Just use caution as you get by. But also in Miami-Dade, Lejeune Road northbound is still closed by a motorcycle-involved crash between Northwest 7th Street and Northwest 11th. Just go ahead and take Northwest 37th Avenue instead until that scene has cleared. That's a look at traffic. Now let's check on the weather for the second dollars. Thanks, Chris. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful start to the day. Look at that live view from our QS camera. And thanks to Mark Cousseau for sharing this view from Fort Lauderdale. It looks like a postcard. We are dry and quiet, and it is a mild start with mostly low 70s and upper 60s in Florida day, low to mid 70s down through the Keys. Our warmest day of the week today with high soaring to the upper 80s, and we will be flirting with record heat as the old record in Miami is 90 degrees. A few showers possible later today as our first front is going to move in. By tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to the low 60s. Not as warm as we end the week, but then could be soggy on Saturday as we have a second cold front, and that means by Sunday it'll be cooler and breezy.